singing the national anthem will be the NFPTC Choir. Military, no salute. March. this opportunity to pause and take time to celebrate the accomplishments of these sailors as a recognition of their hard work, commitment, and endurance they display to successfully complete one of the most difficult training programs in the world. We're also thankful for the support of the SLPO's instructors, the class directors, and advisors who journeyed with them, helping to prepare them for their next challenge ahead. We also give you thanks for the family and friends who have traveled here today to celebrate their sailors' amazing accomplishments. Many times it is their family and friends who are the source and strength and encouragement these sailors need to push forward through all the stress and adversity they face. Bless all those here in attendance, and please be with those who are not able to travel but are here with us in spirit. May their families be a constant source of love and strength throughout these sailors' careers. Lord, bless this time and may your presence be felt here today. In your holy name I pray, amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce Captain Scott McGinnis, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. Good morning. You hear me good in the back? This, work, this works perfect. All right, thank you. What a beautiful day. You know, about a week ago we were planning this. Mine's the wind. military and civilian guests, NFPTC staff, families, friends, and sailors of the class of 2106. Good morning and welcome to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. It's my privilege to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for this 471 proud officers and sailors who have just completed Nuclear Power School. This is a great Navy day. I'm pleased to see so many family members are here in attendance. You guys battled COVID. I heard there's some cold weather up there in Chicago. Uh,
thank each one of you who have encouraged and loved your sailor through the challenge of the Nuclear Power School uh, through the last 24 weeks. I'd particularly like to thank the mothers and fathers uh, for bringing up these sailors and, and serving in such an important role. Uh, being the uh, newer father of a three-year-old, uh, I got kicked last night in the face a few few times, so parents out there, I, uh, I start, I'm starting to more and more appreciate uh, the small sacrifices that you're making. Hey, we're, right, we're gathered here today to, uh, to celebrate the accomplishments of the men and women standing in ranks behind you. Each of them successfully completed the Wedge technical training curriculum in the Navy. They are now ready to move on and face a new challenge of hands-on operational training as they qualify as new propulsion operators at the Naval Propulsion Nuclear Power Training Unit uh, down the street. For the family members and friends here today who are enjoying their first exposure to the world of Navy nuclear power, I'd like to say first, welcome, but I'd also like to place your sailors and officers' accomplishments in perspective. For more than 60 years since USS Nautilus first declared underway on nuclear power, the U.S. Navy Nuclear Propulsion Program has enjoyed an impressive reputation of technical excellence. Over 40% of today's Navy combat warships are nuclear powered, to include 11 aircraft carriers, over 50 attack, missile attack submarines, or two ballistic missile submarines. Admiral Hyman Rickover, the father and founder of Navy Nuclear Propulsion, insisted on selecting the best and brightest sailors, providing them with rigorous training and instilling, a, instilling the bedrock principle of personal integrity. The result of that philosophy has been over half a century professional, professionalism and operational excellence. At NPTC, our students learn the academic and theoretical foundation necessary to understand the theory and operation of a nuclear propulsion. The curriculum includes thermodynamics, physics, reactive principles, chemistry, radiological fundamentals, and many other very fun subjects. This has not changed in scope and importance of today's events bring over. Many alumni have compared the nuclear or new school experience to drinking from a fire hose. Every one of today's graduates have taken a very long drink and succeeded in meeting the program's rigorous standards of excellence. You have demonstrated sailors, you've demonstrated technical acumen and an impressive level of fortitude and perseverance to reach this day. Graduates, for each one of you, your future steps include our naval, our nuclear power training units in Charleston. There you'll begin the next phase of your nuclear training, initial watch qualification on an operating reactor plant. You'll take the theory learned here and apply it in the real world environment under the guidance of experienced staff instructors. The prototype will be a tough challenge, but each of you has the intelligence, preparation, and tenacity to succeed. Once qualified, you will report to a submarine or aircraft carrier to begin your first fleet tour as a nuke. It will be a proud culmination of 12, 18, or 24 months of training when you salute the colors of that nuclear-powered warship and request a report aboard. Today, our Navy has intense challenges to face. We serve the nation in a critical time in our history. To the east, Russia is threatening the stability of Ukraine. To the west, China is increasingly stealing U.S. technologies, oppressing its Uyghur population and threatening Taiwan's independence. Both North Korea and Iran continue to use nuclear weapon diplomacy, and terrorism is always on the horizon. The role of our nuclear-powered warships is as important as ever to the world, and you are vital to those ships. Before we start having students walk across the stage, I, I do want to do three things. Uh, first, I want to talk to you about thankfulness, and I want to lead you, sailors, I want to lead you towards thanking 
uh, a couple groups of people. First, I know implicitly you know this, but we need to be more thankful in our lives. For survival, we are self-centric and generally take a lot for granted. But I want to offer you one last final lesson here at NNPTC. Be more thankful. All the concepts that you have learned here have been uh, looked at and discovered through centuries of hard work. All the aircraft carriers and submarines you're going to go to were the result of a lot of hard work. The veterans that won World War II, those who silently won the Cold War, that's a lot of work. We sometimes overlook that those victories were foregone conclusions. So when you see a veteran, I want you to say thank you. Parents and civilian guests, I cannot order you to do this. This is for the sailors. Yeah. But you should also do this. Uh, before you eat a meal, I ask you to be thankful. There's a lot of work that just goes into just your basic meal. You should be really thankful for our wonderful country and how much it provides. Sailors, I want you to call your parents and thank them. I want you to thank your high school teachers, thank your OSA, OSAs, your SLPOs, your instructors, and the support staff here at NNPTC. Do not take for granted the effort that they have put in to be able to be in a position to invest in you. Through thankfulness, we're going to find humility and respect. The world and our country could use more humility and respect. While I'm so proud of your accomplishments, I want you to realize that we stand on the shoulders of giants. incredible team here at Hinton PTC. We are thankful for your dedication. Folks, the students here know I have never met a microphone I, I didn't like, but I do respect uh, your time and days of celebration of your students. So we're going to start uh, uh, It's so great to see everyone here. I hope to meet some of you afterwards. Uh, students, I look forward to personally congratulating each of you as you advance across this, this stage, and I wish you every success in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. We will now present the graduation certificates for Enlisted Class 2106. Families and friends are encouraged to come forward to the area in front of the stage and take pictures while the certificates are being presented. As we recognize today's graduates, we will be recognizing those graduating with honors 3.7 or with distinction 3.5. The class director for Enlisted Class 2106 is Electronics Te Technician Nuclear Power Senior Chief Kyle Elliott. Sections 1, 2, and 3 consist of electronics technicians and nuclear power. On board nuclear powered ships, the electronics technicians are responsible for the operation and maintenance of reactor controls equipment. The section leading petty officer for section 1 is Chief Boynton. With honors, Lexi Clore. With distinction, Thomas Menke. With honors, Jonathan Ty. Connor Singsum. Christian Mack. Shane Bennett.
friends and family may come closer in order to take pictures. Yeah, come on up right here. Joshua, he asked me. Robert Bartlett. Aiden Denson. James Hart. With honors, Wang An Nguyen. With honors, Michael Cardoza. Joshua Morgan. With distinction, Paul Milton. Nathan Tebby. Chase Whitfield. Anthony Lopez. Stuart Windsor. Benjamin Philman. With honors, Connor Stone. Christopher Matthews. Jalen Wells. In the section honorman for section one, Aaron Cornelius. Section leading petty officer for section two is petty officer Paul. With honors, Jacob Bayano. With distinction, Candace Allen. With distinction, Josue Bracamonte Castillo. With honors, Ajaya Wright. Andrew Zabo. Marcus Watson. Randall Smith. Jordan Booth. Avery Smith. Ethan McClellan. Devin Rawlinson. Shane Finkelstein. Alexis Pena Garcia. Frank Ricker. Christopher Togini. Dakota Benedict. Brandon Hopp. With honors, Joseph Roberson. Ryan Robichaud. Lucas Trammell. No official. With distinction, Douglas Searcy. Jackson Dean. With distinction, 
Josue Benitez. Christian Kaufman. I like the enthusiasm. The section leading petty officer for section three is petty officer Brown. Fidel Rico. Matthew Watford. Grayson Paglia. With distinction, Cannon Myers. Rowan Latham. Corey Rill. Tristan Hemp. Peyton Vandalak. Chance Linquist. Kyle Jamison. Stephen Smith. Michael Anderson. Philip Herrick. With distinction, Stephen Perriman. Christian Smith. Travis Tapp. With distinction, Charles Tanner. Trevor Beeson. With distinction, John Soley. Nicholas Reese. Wolf Pohl. The section honorman for section three. Harry Johnson. Woo! Sections four, five, and six consist of electricians' mates' nuclear power. On board nuclear powered ships, the electricians' mates are responsible for the operation and maintenance of the ship's electrical power systems, including the ship's battery, turbine generators, and switchboards. The section leading petty officer for section four is Petty Officer Brown. With honors, Peyton Elder. <laughs> Ethan Hewitt. With distinction, Alexander Chilton. Daniel Orozco. Andrew Austin. Emily Ewert. Patrick Brooking. Galen Wilkes. With honors, Alexander Aquino. Enrique Orozco Villarreal. Vince Shen. Joshua 
Laura. Alfredo Soto. Samuel Perkins. With distinction, Caden Holgrove. Harold Higley. Cody Dye. With honors, Michael Collier. Carson Coppola. Tyson Buker. Hunter Davidson. Kurt Meyer. Thomas Clay. Scott Hendry. Justin Phillips. Kamari Mullen. Luke Hinder. Gustavo Manalosanta. Alan Curtis. With distinction, Parker Payne. The section leading petty officer for section five is petty officer Rackler. Camille Alexandra Rosado Alejandro. Cyril May Nassis. With distinction, Gina Reese. Evelyn Garcia Jorge. With distinction, Philip Rodriguez. David Wheeler. Gabriel Sanchez. With distinction, David King. Linnea Lee Crespo. Nelson Fernandez. Rourke Haggerty. Elena Robinson. Holly Smith. Woo! Xavier Smith. Raven Foster. Trevin Fuller. With honors, Keegan Fiery. With distinction, Nicholas Hernandez. Eli Carter. David Sparks. Juno Suh. Melanie Boyle. Ian Wallers. Woo! Chance Taylor. Alejandro Escobar. Jacob Giggy.
Hunter and Kirky. Christian Salas. Stephen Collinwood. Landon Salzman. With distinction, Eric Doherty. Nicholas Evans. Section Honorman, Jeffrey Fisher. The section leading petty officer for section six is Chief Jones. Larissa Morales. Richard Chavez. Lisa Wong. With honors, Luke Tomasetti. With distinction, Esmeralda Barajas. Christopher Campbell. Ryan Sulet. Nicholas Taylor. Dylan France. Laura Sawinski. Christopher Subi. Aaron Santa Cruz Longoria. Brian Sweeney. Distinction, Albert Margolis. Damian Lonsford. Joshua Wiley. Jack Benjamin. Maximilian Ferrar. Brian Alsbaugh. David Adams. Kate Brown. Cameron Patterson. Deontay Talton. Jacob Howell. Section Honorman, Ryan Anderson. Section 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 consist of machinist mates, nuclear power, on board nuclear powered ships. The machinist mates are responsible for the operation and maintenance of steam and reactor plant systems, including main and emergency cooling systems, main propulsion machinery, and auxiliary systems. The section leading petty officer for Section 7 is Chief Jones. Denzel Kessler. Celeste Hughes. Isabella Loringer. Ryan O'Keefe.
Victor Luabano. Gardner Austin. Zachary Mullen. Rory Dalton. Edwin Colon. Brennan Allman. With distinction, Jason Ranny. With distinction, Alexander Ramey. Anthony Hagen. With honors, Cannon Parker. Woo, Cannon! All right, Utah said hi. Congratulations. Hi, Mom. With honors, Garrett Spore. Brandon Dilger. Chase Ridley. Matthew Tingley. Hudson Meyer. Austin Myers. James Zigray. Zachary Boyette. Alexander Moore. With honors, Sean Higginbotham. Brandon Hamby. Maselli Rodriguez. Colton Brown. Kendall Johnson. Rando! Okay, you tell I said hi. Congratulations. Brandon Cuevas. The section honorman, Dylan Young. The section leading petty officer for section eight is petty officer Rackley. With distinction, Ethan Estes. Ian Mitchell. Distinction, Marcus Huck. Woo! <laughs> Giovanni Reyna. Not losing anybody today. Congratulations. <laughs> Jacob Schindler. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Jacob! With honors, Michael Rollins. <laughs> Kyle Smith. With honors, Jasper Freedom. <laughs> With distinction, Wade Allers. <laughs> With 
with distinction, Landon Baldur. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank
Timothy Brisby. James Santoro. Wiley Heights. Gabriel Proctor. William Hepler. The section honorman. Jorge Martinez. The section leading petty officer for section 10 is Chief Boynton. Claire Cooper. With distinction, Philip Smith. Maxine Snowden. Chase Payton. Yeah. Delion Moody. With distinction, Aiden Nielsen. Tristan Swartz. Michael Cole. Let's go, Cole! Way to go, Michael! <laughs> what are you Kenneth person? Swanson. <laughs> Woo! Way to go, Swanson! Right, Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. Who is that out there? <laughs> okay, you tell Patrick me. Tracy. <laughs> Jacob Sample. Section Honorman, Elena Marinello. The Section Leading Petty Officer for Section 11 is Petty Officer Woody. With distinction, Analia Shea Rufino. Michaela Miller. Ashley Sandoval. Joshua Figueroa. Cooper Kineski.
Parker Brillen. Adrian Campbell. With distinction, Andrew Martinez. Canyon Guffey. Moab Casey. Jerry Ramsey. With honors, Yarden Sagi. Kai Presser. Thank you. Jacob C. Stephen Alvarasa. Ian Furmeister. Nathan Polowinski. Ethan Kirk. William Prince. Alan Fargus. Grayson Henley. Parker. Samuel Carver. Let's go, Samuel! Woo! Thank you. Andrew Felton. Owen Thompson. Zane Minio. Lucas Niehaus. Andrew Thompson. The section honorman, Harold Cease. There you go, boy. The section leading petty officer for section 12 is petty officer Woody. Gabriel Yanez. Grace Miller. That's my girl! Brian Bea. Yes, sir! Patrick Huffman. Woo! Thomas Pridemore. Lucas Ramsey. Paul Joseph Blanchard. Matthew Geisler. Matthew Hamilton. Riley Esterling. With distinction, Christopher Alville. Matthew Kerr. Yeah. 
with distinction, Christopher Valadez. Justin McKnight. Jacob High. Truman Richardson. Keller Wallace. Riley McNabb. Richard Newcomer. He's good. He's so good. Kalen Richards. Dylan Erickson. An enlisted class 2106 honor graduate with a grade point average of 3.94. This petty officer, William Reynolds. <laughs> Naval Nuclear Powertrain Command seats. As we recognize today's officer graduates, we will be recognizing those graduating with honors 3.6 or with distinction 3.4. The class director for officer class 2106 is Lieutenant Dylan Singh, who also serves as an instructor for officer reactor dynamics and core characteristics. Section one was advised by Lieutenant John Clark. Samantha Espos. Michaela Stover. With distinction. With distinction, Catherine Westdyke. Jillian Abel. Shauna Acker. Riley Mazariegos. Cooper Halliday. With distinction, Thomas Savarese. Madison Jones. Sarah Naldo. Patrick O'Rourke. Owen Barda. Justin Rossi.
James Agan. Shannon McKeon. Adam Beatman. With honors, Christopher Colley. Kenneth Collicton. Colin Katazi. Nicholas Newell. Hannah Herzl. Zen Taylor. Clayton Kendrick Holmes. With honors, Brendan Barling. Sam Grubbs. With honors, Benjamin Kosis. With distinction, Cameron McClellan. Quinton Cooper. Benjamin Everett. With distinction, Matthew Brandt. Section two was advised by Lieutenant Christopher Pietrantoni. With distinction, Claire Garcia. Marissa Strobel. Allison Luthane. Sydney Lawrence. Alexandra Smith. Michael McMahon. Elizabeth Farnan. Taylor Ball. Christina Kuntz. Ashton Edler. Jacob Allen. John Davis. With distinction, Josh Frankie. Robert Durham. Casey Miller. With honors, Andrew Farnsworth. With honors, Peter Rottenborn. With distinction, Jonathan Britt. Liam Spinney. With honors, Justin Darrington. With distinction, Kevin Yost. With honors, Colton Vandermeer. Titus Kilpatrick. Ethan Burns. Dwayne Williams. 
with distinction, Matthew Critchley. Nathan Hansen. With distinction, Seamus Long. Alan Davis. With distinction, George Gilliam. Section 3 was advised by Lieutenant Junior Grade Aaron Demers. With honors, Catherine Kirkwood. With distinction, Nicole Serea. Jessica Wagner. With distinction, Megan Rogelstead. With distinction, Matthew Vogel. With honors, Christopher Bowling. James Brown. Deborah Banner. Nicholas Tregueros. Marshall Shires. Mario Avila. With distinction, John McMahon. Jordan Russell. Brandon Wynn. With honors, Charles Ostrike. Maeve Brogue. Matthew Dwyer. Nathan Dietman. Nicholas Millay. With distinction, Kyle Leonard. James Buchanan. Colin Love. Max Eisenstadt. Peter Faber. Dylan Panizo. With distinction, Austin Weigel. Sergio Aparicio. With distinction, James Renault. With distinction, Thomas Reeder. Alex Hagedorn. Jack Powers. Section 4 was advised by Lieutenant Junior Grade Hayden Berger. Matthew Gutilla. Dakota Winberg. Megan Pazella. With distinction, Andrew Shugan. With distinction, Madeline Malzinski.
Isabella Buck. Audrey Femray. Austin Cosen. Zachary Cartwright. Jonathan Plant. Rory Crono. Rio Barnes. Seth Brennan. Zachary Welcomer. Connor Travis. With honors, Glenn Davis. Tyler Love. Emery Harrington. Andrew Wright. Chance Hildebrand. Nicholas Schaub. With honors, Jamie Miller. Laurel Johnning. Ulysses Bennett. Connor Hanlon. Stefano Pineda. With honors, John McVicker. John Campo. Garrett Stocker. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. Attention to award. We will now recognize the top three officer students based on final academic performance. Graduating third in officer class 2106 with a grade point average of 3.83 is Ensign Sophia D'Antonio. Graduating second in officer class 2106 with a grade point average of 3.86 is Mr. Michael Stanek. The top graduate of officer class 2106 with a grade point average of 3.88 is Lieutenant Samuel Straw. As the recipient of the Vice Admiral Barron's Award, Lieutenant Samuel Stroud is presented this plaque. This award was established by the Barron's family to honor his lifetime of achievements as a submariner and sea scientist. In 1955, then Lieutenant Barron's wrote and taught the first nuclear power school curriculum, so it's appropriate that the award is presented to the individual who has distinguished himself for his superior academic and military performance. Mrs. Amy Pereira will now make a presentation on behalf of the Charleston Council of the Navy League to the top officer and enlisted graduates in the class.
following are some of William Reynoldson and Samuel Straub's accomplishments as noted by the Navy League. The Navy League was founded in 1902 as an educational and advocacy organization designed to enhance the morale of sea services personnel and provide them a powerful voice in Congress. While assigned as a student at the at Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, you have excelled in your educational endeavors as demonstrated by your performance. By your unswerving motivation and exemplary work ethic, you lifted up your shipmates and reflected excellence upon yourself. Your drive and determination were superb in the performance of your duties and resulted in your selection as a recipient of the Navy League Award. I'm now present, present to William Reynoldson for special recognition in the 2022 Navy League Honors Award, Navy Nuclear Power Training Command Joint Base Charleston. In appreciation for true service to your uniform, your command, your country, and your devotion to duty, we take great pride in acknowledging your efforts while also thanking you for your service to the United States Navy. Special Recognition 2022 Navy League Honors Award, Navy Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, Joint Base Charleston. In appreciation for your true service to your uniform, your command, your country, and your devotion to duty, we take great pride in acknowledging your efforts while also thanking you for your service to the United States Navy. Mr. Reynoldson, please return to the stage. Ensign D'Antonio, front and center. Mr. Rick Wise will now make a presentation on behalf of the Submarine Veterans Society to the top officer and enlisted submarine volunteer graduates in the class. Nuclear Power School staff, families, guests, and especially class uh, 2106. Uh, I'm here representing the approximately 300 members of the United States Submarine Veterans Charleston Base. And we're honored to be participating in this graduation. Our creed is to perpetuate the memory of our shipmates who gave their lives on the turn, gave their lives in pursuit of their duty while serving their country, took their dedication to the deeds and supreme sacrifice. probably thinking, well, here's an old guy up here who doesn't know what I'm facing. Well, I graduated from class 6704, so I've been a nuke for 54 years. I've got a better idea than you have. And I say that because once you become a nuke, believe me, there's no way not to be a nuke. Many of our base members are nuclear trained. The concepts and tools that you've learned at Nuclear Power School and will learn at Prototype in the Fleet will be of great value throughout your life. Let me give you a short history of the United States Submarine Service. For the 121 years since the United States Navy received the first submarine, the forces progressed from coastal defense to long-range scouting for the fleet to an offensive weapon that slowed the Japanese during World War II to the impressive tactical and strategic forces they are today. An important thing to remember is in the Pacific, the United States did not have the best submarines or the best torpedoes, but they did have the best crews. You will be joining the crews of today's ships. Remember that lesson. Since the first seagoing nuclear power plant was placed on the submarine of the United States Nautilus SSN-571, more plants have operated safely for millions of, millions of hours on submarines than any other type of ship. Those of you going to submarines will have that great legacy to uphold. 
you are the future of the submarine service. That is why Charleston Bay has chosen to present these awards. I'm going to show you one of, one of the awards before I present it and read what it says. United States Submarine Veterans Charleston Bay State Great Pleasure in presenting the Submariner's Legacy Award for Nuclear Power School Class 3106 to, in recognition of your achievement as highest rate point average submarine testament for your class, and to charge you with the responsibility of carrying on the legacy, honor, and high standards of the United States Submarine Corps. And the day and the pride runs deep. Now, there's a problem with this. This award has dolphins on it. These things I wear on my chest, submarine warfare insignia, those are dolphins. Those are earned. You don't want to show those until you have earned them. And it may seem like we were charging them with a lot, but when those are, when you earn those and those pin notes on your chest, they're engraved in your heart and they stay there forever. So, so they don't have to show that. We have a card that says the same thing without dolphins. <laughs> Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to a student in each section who is determined by the class director and section leading petty officers exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. These students were selected based on the virtues of hard work, personal dedication, and desire to succeed. The following students, front and center for the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. <coughs> Lieutenant Samuel Straub, Officer Section 1. Charles Ostrick, Officer Section 3. <laughs> Lieutenant Andrew Shugan, Officer Section 4. Air <laughs> Sir Thomas Mankey, Enlisted Section 1. Air Sir Josu Bracamonte Castillo, enlisted Section 2. Air Sir Chance Lindquist, enlisted Section 3. Air Sir Galen Wilkes, enlisted Section 4. There's a Brian Sweeney, enlisted section six. There's a Dylan Young, enlisted section seven. Jalen Jones, Section 9. There's your Aiden Nielsen, Section 10.
Pastor Jacob Pye, Section 12. Ladies and gentlemen, please recognize Class 2106 Personal Excellence Awardees. The Fleet Reserve Association has established a hard charge award, which recognizes an individual's outstanding effort as a highly motivated student and model sailor. Mr. Harry Nettles will now present the Hard Charger Award on behalf of the Fleet Reserve Association. Hey, yes, sir, Andrew Martinez, front and center. <laughs> Captain McGinnis, instructors, staff, graduates, family, and friends. I represent the Fleet Reserve Fleet Reserve Association, Low Country Ranch. Six years, I said, no, you don't understand. I'm only here for four years and I'm gone. <laughs> that didn't work out well later. In 1919, two sailors, Chief Yoma Robert White and Chief Gunner's mate Carl McDonald, testified before Congress on the issue of military legislation. They were the first of many to have that opportunity. Two years later, Chief Yoma George Carlin, not the funny guy, father of the Fleet Reserve Association, which was chartered on November the 11th, 1924 in Philadelphia. Since then, over the decades, we have been advocating on behalf of Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard personnel, ensuring equity and pay, benefits, and the health and welfare of all of the sea services. Petty Officer Martinez, it is with immense pleasure that I congratulate you on your selection as the hard charger at the Navy Nuclear Power Training Command, Class 2106. It is indeed an honor for the Fleet Reserve Association to present you with this award for your demanding work and perseverance during your course of study. The Fleet Reserve Association is comprised of sea service members, and we work for you. We are a strong and steady voice on Capitol Hill, working to safeguard every service member's pay and benefits, enrich education programs, and provide quality of life programs for you, the young men and women of our sea services. Whether active duty, retired, or a veteran, the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, the Fleet Reserve Association will be working for you and your family. For being awarded the hard charger of your class, we would like to add your voice to ours of the Fleet Reserve Association, and we will be paying for your first year's membership of the association. Welcome to the board. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command seats. Captain McGinnis will now offer his closing remarks. And just for everyone to understand, that last award is our top award. Uh, what people have heard me say it here a thousand times, we don't graduate just GPAs, we do appreciate high GPAs. Uh, but in the fleet, we want uh, hard charging folks who not only work hard for themselves, but work hard in the team. That last uh, award to Petty Officer Martinez, he did not know he was going to get that. He was voted on by his classmates, his instructors, his SLPOs, as the person that embodies uh, the passion and the values uh, that we have. Uh, again, uh, amazing job, Petty Officer Martinez. Thank you.
thank you. I know you do it out of a uh, volunteer. It's uh, always amazing. Uh, next, uh, in about two months, I hope to have a F-18 flying overhead during your uh, spectacular performance. Uh, so hopefully we can make that happen. But choir, you're a great and uh, thank you for making this. blatant statement, I am not a nuke. Uh, you know, that's, that's great, uh, because, you know, it highlights that, yes, while we celebrate nuclear power here, this is the bedrock of nuclear training, we realize that, yes, we provide the, the strength of the power plant, but it takes, the Navy is a huge team, so no matter what part uh, that you are on, uh, you can see it here in the yeomen, in the MAs that are providing our security, uh, day in and day out grind, uh, we value all parts of our team. It takes it takes a large, large team, 500 talented staff of all different types uh, to make this place uh, as amazing uh, as it is. So I did want to take a second to say thank you. I'd like to end by saying thank you, family. I, you know, uh, in July, we opened up the ceremony uh, trying to roll back COVID. You recognize today we did shake hands. We're all in the same uh, bubble, if you will, with hand sanitizer on each side. So rolling out, to rolling out from COVID is so important. Uh, but you guys being here today, uh, we cannot be closed down by a pandemic. We can't be stopped by some virus. We will continue uh, to be the strength of America and the Navy. pandemic uh, but this is so important to see families here in July when we started uh, reopening our ceremony to families uh, I saw one uh, one mother she clapped for like she was like right there in the front and she clapped so loud for her sailor it was amazing but then she clapped for another sailor and then like five more sailors and I went up to her afterwards and was like man did you have like five kids up here she's like no honey I haven't clapped in two years I am getting it all out today. I am so excited to be here. I'm clapping for Jimmy. I'm clapping for Mary. I'm really not clapping for Bobby. But this pandemic's not going to hold me down. And it was just so amazing. And it just, it forced, it, it really forces us here to mitigate COVID, but not to be stopped by it. We have not missed a beat that's based on our talented staff. Throughout COVID, we have graduated as many operators, if not more, throughout it. And again, talent because of the staff, talent because of the students, and determination and the purpose of which we have in our Navy to be so important. Uh, so again, thank you, families. The, uh, the enduring love and support that you provide have made this and our wonderful country possible. God bless NMPTC, God bless the United States Navy, and God bless America. Thank you. Guests and graduates, please rise. presence through the wind and the sun and for the wonderful weather you've provided us. Thank you for the wisdom shared and may encourage our sailors to continue to become better versions of themselves, to strive for perfection, to set the examples for others, and may this time motivate them to charge ahead with confidence and resolution. Let them not become weary or lose heart in all they do and help them to stand firm and stay committed to those values that we hold dear. Lord bless these sailors and may this day remind them of their hard work 
their dedication, their ability to finish strong, for their work is not yet complete. Give them rest between now and the start of prototype. Watch over them, guide them, protect them. Remind them that they are not alone. As we close here today, let us be reminded of all those who've gone before us who helped pave the way. Bless our sailors around the world to protect those who are in harm's way. Lord, please bless those here in attendance. Grant them safety as they travel back to their homes. Bless this command, our Navy, and this great nation. We lift these prayers to you. Amen. Captain McGinnis will be available in front of the stage on the ceremony for pictures. Class 2106. Ted Jack. Class 2106. Dismissed.